All right, we're going to look at how keying works. So I've set up my two clips here. Um, the lower one is just a picture of a coffee shop outside. It's a photograph. Um, the upper one is just me in front of a green screen that we're going to key out the green and superimpose me in front of the coffee shop. Um, you notice the particular issues on this uh, are actually the creases within the green cloth, um, which are going to confuse the keyer within Final Cut Pro 10. Um, but we'll show how to get around that. So I'm going to line up my clips first of all, and then go to the effects browser on the right hand side. I've already put key in there, so it's found the keyer, which is this one here. What I'm going to do is then drag it to the clip where we want to key out the color, the background color. So we just drop it on. Uh, and it gives us an immediate composite view of, of the end result. And you can see there's a couple of small lines where I said, the, where I pointed out the creases earlier on. Um, and this is, uh, this is where, uh, obviously not acceptable. So we're just seeing what the creases look like. Um, the key within Final Cut Pro 10.0.3 has quite a lot more parameters um, than previous versions. If we actually have a look at the mat that's generated automatically by dragging that key effect onto the video clip. You will see that the mat itself has a couple of white lines down it where that crease was, and we can see them there. So what we need to do is to tell the key in Final Cut Pro 10 that the creases uh, or shades of green um, are actually uh, okay to be keyed out um, and what we're going to do is use a sample color facility within that. So we click on sample color. And then we, what we do is we hold down the shift key and highlight the area we want to add to the sample of colors that it's going to use to key out. So we get this first crease on there, hold down the shift key, click the mouse, and you will build up a square and you just drag that square over the entire bit of the crease you want to add to the key. So that's that one. And again, we hold down the click again and do the other one. Um, depending on how many creases we got, we can uh, continually add to the list. So we do that crease as well. And now what we can do is go back and have a look at the mat and see how well the green has been keyed out. So we go back to the information panel on the right hand side. We're going to click the mat, which is the one in the middle there with the black bit on it. And hopefully now you will see that virtually all the green has been keyed out on this particular video clip. So we click on it and you can see, yep, all the green, absolutely fine. And what we do is if we scrub along our timeline, we'll have a look to see if there are any other areas within this particular clip where the key hasn't been able to key them out properly. And in general, it's okay. Um, the cup there you see being passed was green itself, and that's an issue that we knew was going to occur. But anyway, that's enough for this quick tutorial on Chroma Key Inc. in Final Cut Pro 10. Hope you've enjoyed it, and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.